I slipped. <laughs> I've been up here for an hour and a half. <laughs> Granddad! <laughs> Wake up, you bastard. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time again. <laughs> I've made me list. <laughs> Decorate Christmas tree. <laughs> it's not going too fucking well. <laughs> Buy turkey. Not from Buster Brady. <laughs> Get the sprouts and boil them early. Oh, now, last year they were like Iron Man's testicles. <laughs> I dropped one on the floor and it bounced straight back into the, into the pot. <sighs> it's going to be a busy Christmas. My son Trevor's home for a couple of days. Yeah. And Bono, my grandson, he got a part in the Christmas play. <laughs> I have to see that. <sighs> oh... And <laughs> I wrote a letter to Father Quinn, a formal letter, making a formal request for my turn to play the Virgin Mary. <laughs> it's never too early. The early bird, you know, is worth two in your bush. <laughs> Granddad! Bastard. <laughs> And it all starts as soon as they get off this book and tree. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You bastard! <laughs> I love Christmas! <laughs> Who's Debbie and Morty? They were the people you met on holiday in Wexford. Nice people, you said. Nice people, but I only just met them. I didn't book and adopt them. <laughs> Morning. Good morning, love. One tea, Rory. No, haven't time. Rory, letter for you. Thanks, Mammy. Open it, love. No, I'll read it when I get to work. Open it now. No, really. Open the book and letter. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm at the winning award at the Irish Hairdressers Awards. Hey, congratulations. Can't wait to tell everyone at work. See you, He's thrilled. Yeah. I knew he would be. I'll see you. Oh, now Dermot has a dentist appointment on the 11th. How do you 
you know? What? Are you reading Dermot's mail? It's not Dermot's mail, it's family mail. <laughs> not if his name is on the envelope. That's an invasion of privacy, Mummy. My arse, Catty. He works in promotions, not for the Kia. <laughs> it's CIA. <laughs> Ever. I hope you don't read my mail. <laughs> you do. Well, a lot of the times you're gone before the postman gets here. I open it just in case it's important. Well, don't. I mean it, Mummy. Don't. There's another one for you. Oh, too late. <laughs> Hiya, Winnie. How are you, Agnes? The hospital said Jack could be home for Christmas. Lovely. Did they say which Christmas? <laughs> Winnie. What? Did you ever look at Sheldon's private things? Well, once when she thought she had an inflammation. <laughs> no. Her letters. Agnes, that would be wrong. I even think that's illegal. You're right. And you know, if it's not illegal, it should be. Yeah. Dear Cathy Brown. <laughs> it's just great to have you home, Trevor. Do you have to go back? Now, Mammy, don't start that again. Yeah. Hello, chicken. <laughs> Are you on your break? Yeah, ma. You fancy a snack? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very funny, Larry. Isn't it, isn't it funny? <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> Any post for me, mummy? Oh, yes. Uh, just the one. Excuse me, Mummy. This was opened. Don't be ridiculous, Catty. Why would the postman do that? <laughs> it wasn't the postman, Mummy. It was you. I'm sorry, Catty. I fear you're mistaken. Yeah, Catty. <laughs> People's post is private. Everybody knows that. Yeah, Catty. <laughs> you have a dentist appointment on Thursday. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. So, Mummy, you want to play? Fine. Fine. I'll get it. Mummy, did Buster call here looking for me? Buster called, but he wasn't looking for you. Why, what's he doing? He wants us to do a Santa Claus's grotto in one of the empty shops in the centre. Well, there's enough empty shops there anyway. I know. I think it's a great idea. Mummy, someone here to see you. Take a seat. Hello, Hiddley. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Father Quinn. Who the fuck are you? Agnes, dear. This is Damien. He's here temporarily, so I thought I'd introduce him to some of the important people in the parish. Oh, well. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I brought him to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Brown. I'm Damien. I'm filling in for Father Quinn while he's on retreat. Rehab again. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, Father Damien? It's just Damien. He likes people to call him Damien. <laughs> and I like people to mind their own fucking business. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, Father Jamie? Uh, no, Mrs. Brown. Look, it's about your letter to Father Quinn. Requesting to play the part of the Virgin Mary in this year's nativity play. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> yes, well, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Go on. 
There is no nativity play this year. What? The drama group are putting it on in Ballymun Parish this year. Excuse me. No, wait a minute, Father. My family will put on a nativity play in the community centre. Well, the community centre may not be available. You'll have to check with the head of the committee. Which is you. So it is. <laughs> You'll also have to get permission from the bishop. Frankly, I'm not prepared to do that. Why not? Well, I believe this is just folly. Mothers do that kind of thing. Say they're going to do something, then nothing. It's not a risk I'm prepared to take. Right then, I'm off. And I start writing a nativity play. Why do all mothers do this? Do what? When I say something, she completely ignores me. It's as if I haven't spoken. It doesn't ever seem to sink in. Father, is, is your mother alive? Uh, yes, but that's got nothing to do with you or this nativity. Doesn't it? I see. Leave it, Mammy. Right then. Thanks for dropping in, Damien. He left in a hurry. You might fucking join him. <laughs> that boy has issues. Mother issues. I'll try talking to him. You do that. In the meantime, I'm writing a book in Nativity Play. <laughs> I better be off. Buster must be still looking. Still looking for what? A Santa Claus for the grotto. We need somebody fat and jolly. Huh. Fat and jolly? Oh, no. What? He's gone over to talk to Shed McGugan. You are kidding. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, eh... Uh... Sharon, she said she wouldn't really be into it. <laughs> Hello, I think I left my phone behind. Hello? Ooh. Hello? Oh, H hello, I... I think you might be sitting on my phone. <laughs> Hello? to the phone. Is this any better? Oh, yes. That's much better. <laughs> Henry, listen closely. This is important. Important, yes. I got that. If a gum boil could boil oil... How much oil would a gum boil boil? <laughs> what? Oh, for heaven's sake.
must be delighted with your award. I am. But I don't want to make a big thing of it. I'm so proud of you, Rory. Thanks, Dino. And when you got to collect that award, I'll be standing there clapping like a sea lion on speed. <laughs> what? There's only one ticket to the awards party. I ain't going to the toilet. <laughs> I think the family doing nativity play will be great fun. Can Bono be in it? The whole family's in it, Betty. Even you. <laughs> no, Mrs. Brown, let someone else be the Virgin Mary. <laughs> that part is already gone. <laughs> What are you booking laughing at? I have no idea. Are you religious, Mrs. McGugan? I am, Maria. I'm a great believer. Except for the virgin birth in heaven and hell. <laughs> but apart from that... I'm a believer. Yeah. Oh, I believe in the virgin birth. Oh, yes. You know, I've never told anybody this, but Kathy, you were a virgin bird. <laughs> Your father's Richard Branson. Do you believe in life after death, Mrs. Brown? You know, my Reds are asked me that about a month before he died. It's the last thing I ever heard him say. He didn't speak after that? No, I just stopped fucking listening. <laughs> <laughs> you had a baby with Richard Branson. <laughs> was the sex good? <laughs> Winnie, it was a joke. Well, at least you got a baby out of it. <laughs> Catty, you might get cheap flights. <laughs> Right, I'm going to get them in. I'm going to the little girl's room. Hang on, I'll go with you. <laughs> go on, I'll mind your handbag. <laughs> what? Go for your pissed. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh. Look at that. It's a letter from a television company to Caddy Brown. Did she fall for it? I think so. She did. She showed it to Mrs. McGugan now. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Read that. Dear Cathy Brown, thank you for entering your mother into the best Christmas mother's competition program <laughs> that we are making. That's brilliant. I know. Is. Look. They're going to install secret hidden cameras all over the house. <laughs> to film me while I'm doing normal things. And look, do not tell your mother. I won't. <laughs> what? I won't tell me mother. No, Cathy's not to tell her mother. Good, cause my mother's dead. <laughs> Look, we just have to pretend the cameras aren't there. Right. So just act normal. Fuck no, I want to win this. <laughs> the grotto's looking good. And I'm after getting a lovely big chair for Santa Claus to sit in. Where would we get a Santa Claus? I don't know. I spoke to Father Damien. Well, what is it that has him so angry? He hasn't spoken to his mother in five years. Keep talking to him, son. Keep talking. I will. 
What will I be in the nativity play, Agnes? One of the seven dwarfs. Brilliant. Who's the other two? Now, how can I be a better Christmas mother today? Because I want to be the best Christmas mother in the whole world. <laughs> I put the kettle on with spring water. <laughs> Only the best for my family. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hey, Mommy. If it isn't a happy couple and, and parents of triplets <laughs> and and their friend, the lovely Buster. <laughs> Hello. Do come in, sit down. How can I be of help to you today? Well, dear, Mr. Son is way to work, and I'm off down to the pharmacy to get something for the triplets. They're all feverish. Oh, the poor little mites. Is there anything I can do? Maybe cuddle them, or I could give them a kidney if they need it. <laughs> I'm just scared to give Grandad his beard and half for his first day as Santa. Let me give it to him. I mean, after all, I am his carer. <laughs> as well as being a mother, I am also a carer for Grandad. Yeah. Hello, Princess. I'm just going to care for Grandad. <laughs> Kathy, what the hell is up with Mammy? Oh, Kathy, tell them, please. <laughs> now, Grandad, I am going to place this beard on your face very tenderly. Because I am your carer. Don't hit me! Oh, don't, don't hit me! He's, he's, you're so funny! You're so funny! Those fucking cameras won't be there forever. <laughs> now, now, now look. <laughs> See how tender that was? I am tender because I'm your carer. I am a carer. I care. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, I would love a sandwich if you have one. Yes, of course, uh, Buster. <laughs> there is always food available in the house for friends. <laughs> right, I'm off. I'll go with you. Later. Later. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. These are lovely sandwiches, Mrs. Brown. Oh, did you say? <laughs> Tomorrow, Mammy, I think I'd like some fried brie cheese with some cranberry sauce. What would you like, Buster? Uh, a ham and cheese toasted panini. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Would you like me to write that down for you, Mammy? Oh, no, no. No, I have a photogenic memory. I'm just going to go outside and have a smoke. Should I have it here? No, I wouldn't smoke where there's food. Where you're, where you're eating. Oh, of course, no. What kind of mother would that be? <laughs> I'm fucking eating. <laughs> Right, Buster, come on, move it. See you, Mammy. Good luck. Good luck, Mary. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad they enjoyed my cunnilingus efforts. <laughs> well... If it isn't my next door neighbour and best friend, Winifred. Hello, Winifred. How are you today? Sorry, wrong house. <laughs> Winnie! It's me, Agnes. I'm sorry, Agnes. I thought. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little 
you're forgetting about the cameras. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep it in mind. Now, look. I've got somebody coming, but it shouldn't take too long. You go over and put the kettle on in your house, and I'll come over and have a cup of tea. Right. <laughs> well, yoga under the table. I'd never tried that before. <laughs> what a good idea, Winnie. Now, maybe you should go home to your own house. Have a safe journey. Farewell, Agnes. <laughs> I go now and make merry in my kitchen. <laughs> Winnie, uh -huh. fuck off. <laughs> oh. Hello, the Brown residence. Oh, hello. Thank you very much for calling back. Grandma, get that ticket! <laughs> Grandpappy? Could you attend to the door, please? <laughs> the witch is in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, all big families are like that. Children just moan, moan, moan. Yeah. Oh, Mammy, get your foot off me throat. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold on, please. Somebody wants to talk to you. It's your mother. It's Christmas. Now be Christian. Hello? Yes, mother, it's me. I've missed you too. Take as long as you need, son. Don't touch the book and biscuits. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, Winnie, we seem to be alone. What shall we do? I know. Let's have afternoon tea. Agnes, why are you talking like that again? It's not... <laughs> Winnie, for God's sake, you forgot about the fucking cameras. Wife. Sorry, the pretend cameras I forgot. Now just keep them in your mind. Right. So, Winnie, shall we? <laughs> what do you mean, pretend cameras? Well, Sheridan told me it was Cathy wrote the letter about pretending cameras were in the house. <laughs> what? Sheridan tell you this. Day after you showed me the letter. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Because you told me not to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, you were enjoying it. Enjoying it? I'm exhausted for the laugh of them bastards. <laughs> well, I'm going. Thanks, Winnie. Thanks for fucking nothing. You're welcome. Kitchen, dearest one. <laughs> Hiya, Mommy. Hello, Princess. <laughs> uh, lunch. <laughs> Do sit down. Uh, let me present it to you. <laughs> now, here we go. There's a Oh, oh, I'm so... Oh, so sad, I'm so sad. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 o
You know, don't you? You bet you're cutting pick and knickers, I know. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for this, Ma. It's our last chance of a Christmas night out. Yeah. It's my pleasure. I'm delighted to have Bono staying over. He's in bed and I must from but he'll not sleep. You leave him to me. I'll go up and try and tuck him in. Thanks. I'll get it. What do you want? Rory, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And have a great night at the awards. I'm not going. What? I'm not going without you. Come in. Can you not sleep, or no? No, Granny. I'm too scared of Santa Claus coming. It's just so close. I know. I was like that when I was a little girl. <laughs> oh, what have we got there? My old music box. My daddy gave that to me when I was, oh, about your age. <laughs> I remember my father's smile in the glow of a bedside light. He took the blankets beneath me chin <laughs> To settle me for the night. And the stories that he'd tell to me. They had a magic now, so it seems. They all began once upon a time. A land of fairy tale dreams. There'd, there'd be a, a princess that no man could resist. <laughs> she turned a frog into a prince with just a kiss. Hmm. <laughs> and a, a knight in shining armor with a magic sword. And Daddy acted out word for word. <laughs> and when he came to the part where the hero died, he cuddled me while I cried. And he'd whisper in my ear, Don't you worry, dear. Heroes never die. What's this? Bishop's permission to stage a nativity play. Come in. But the greatest hero in my life, he never slayed a dragon or left any troll dead. <laughs> no. He was just a plain and simple man. And each night took me in my bed. And when I think of Daddy and his love and his touch, and how we all laughed so much. <laughs> and I don't miss him, you know, not a single bit. So why would I? Heroes never die. 